we want to show e to the power of k equals the sum with index i starting from 0 to infinite of k to the power of i divided by i factorial and if we consider a special case like k equals 1 we got another representation of e and so if k equals 1 we have e equals the sum of 1 divided by i factorial which is another representation of e so we start by recalling the binomial theorem we have a product of a plus b to the power of n so a plus b n times and we remember that equal to the sum i from 0 to n of the binomial coefficient n i multiplied by a to the power of i multiplied by b to the power of n minus i now we need a definition of e so one of its definitions and we remember that e is defined as the limit of n approaching infinity of 1 plus 1 divided by n all to the power of n but we also remember that a consequence of this limit is that e to the power of k equals limit of n tending to infinity of 1 plus k divided by n to the power of n because you just switches indexes you just change k with another variable and from there you get there it's pretty much instantaneously okay now we go on with the proof and we consider this term and we forget for a moment about the limit so we have 1 plus k divided by n all to the power of n and is equal recalling the binomial theorem to this thing with a equals 1 and b equals k divided by n but we can also invert them there's no problem so we'll now invert it invert a and b but we'll see why because the order doesn't count of course so we have this summation and always the binomial coefficient we have 1 to the power of n minus i but 1 to the power of anything it's always 1 so we forget about it and we write k divided by n to the power of i okay that's that's reasonable we could have written also k divided by n to the power of n minus i it wouldn't have changed anything but this way it's more clear okay now we remember that e to the power of k equals the limit so we take the limit so e to the power of k equals limit and approaching infinity of this summation
Now we consider this term here and we write it so binomial coefficient k divided by n to the power of i now we we solve those we solve the binomial which is n factorial divided by n minus i factorial divided by i factorial multiplied by k to the power of i divided n to the power of i okay now we imagine n tends to infinity okay and uh, we remember what this is roughly equal to so <laughs> yeah of course it's really equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 etc etc until we reach n minus i plus 1 and all divided n to the power of i and we'll, and we'll write here k to the power of i divided by i factorial and now we we need to do some considerations now imagine n is approaching infinity so n, n minus 1, etc they all will be pretty much the same like a million minus 1 uh, and more it's pretty much a million so this thing here is e times e times n it's pretty much if we tend to infinity as n increases it's pretty much n to the power of i the numerator but this is roughly equal to the denominator and so we can simplify so we simplify the denominator with numerator okay and what's left really the limit oh, sorry of course there's no limit here there's k to the power of i divided i factorial okay as n approach infinity of course this is only true in this case but now we look at this equation and we just substitute what we just found so e to the k equals limit and approaching infinity of the sum a from 0 to n of k to the power of i divided by i factorial and that's really what we wanted to show so in the first it's just the first formula you see and so we have demonstrated it and the proof is closed